Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's scroll saw project video, we're going to be making a rustic welcome sign. The pattern is designed by Steve Good, and it's a two page pattern if you want the large version. And I've already got it here trimmed and connected together with a piece of tape. Um, the pattern also calls for you to add a trim around it out of quarter inch wood. Um, I'm not going to do that. I just printed the pattern out to show you guys that that is an option. But I have this beautiful pallet wood that I have milled down and planed down on my new Craftsman planer. You can see it right there sitting on that little stool. I haven't found a permanent home for it out here in the workshop, but I'm working on that. But this is the wood from a pallet I planed down and glued together into this little panel. And I think the wood grain and texture is just beautiful. So what we're going to do is just cut the main part of the pattern out of this on this wood and I think that is going to speak for itself just the wood grain and the texture and then when you add the clear coat it's really going to pop I believe but right now what we're going to do is attach the pattern to the wood with clear packing tape off camera then we're going to turn the camera back on and head over to the drill press and get started and we're going to begin as usual over on the drill press drilling all of our pilot holes for internal cutting over on the scroll saw. I believe this pattern has about maybe 20-25 internal cuts on it. But after we drill all of our pilot holes we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And I'm cutting this pattern out how I would like to see it completed. So I'm not following Steve Good's actual design to a perfect T. Um, I think that's what just differs artist. So I'm just following it how I would like to see the pattern done. But if you would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good Scroll Saw Workshop at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in the pattern catalog. I am using number five reverse tooth sharp tooth scroll saw blades cutting through this pallet wood um, exceptionally well. Very little chip out which is good so that just reduces sanding time once all the scroll work is done. If you guys like what you're seeing I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel to see all future uploads and also follow me on line at my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I try to post over there at least twice daily. Just going through here doing all of the internal cuts, doing some of the bigger cuts first and I don't normally do that with a scroll saw project but since there's really not a lot of small cutouts on this it's fine to do the bigger cutouts first. When using pallet wood or really any wood in general, always use some kind or form of dust respirator. You see the one I've got on there. A lot of um, people I know in woodworking use that type of dust respirator. I picked it up off of Amazon. Just going through here on the M and welcome. Just have to do the E and then the final outside cut and all the scroll work will be done and you see me reaching over there changing songs on my iPod. Um, I'm a huge lover of music. Um, I always love to have music playing out in the workshop and what I'm listening to depends on just the mood I'm in. Mostly I listen to a lot of older style music, 60s, 70s and 80s. I'm a very old soul when it comes to music. But that's just one of the creature comforts I have to have out in the workshop is music. Now we're going to thread the blade through the final pilot hole and hit the blade there with a little bit of soap to lubricate the blade some. And begin our final cut. Thank you. 
it took me around maybe 45 minutes to an hour to cut this out. So it doesn't really take long at all. And if you've done these out of thinner wood, you could certainly stack cut these and cut out two or three at the same time out of quarter inch plywood. Done with all the scroll work. I'm going to head over to the workbench and remove the pattern and the piece from the waist area. And it's already beautiful. And we're going to take the palm sander with a high grit sandpaper sand the front and back and I'll always do more sanding off camera. Then I'll go over and get a can of spray air I've just started using and blow all the sawdust off and the project was complete. And here we have the completed rustic welcome sign made out of pallet wood. I think it turned out real good. Turned out nice and beautiful. It's a little over a foot tall. All that's left to do is add the clear coat to it, and I'm still on the fence whether or not I want to paint and add a backer board to it. Still kind of undecided on that. Um, I may or may not do that. Probably will eventually, but I know for a fact that when the clear coat goes to this, it's really going to make all this amazing grain pop because I've already done a different project um, out here in the workshop out of this same exact wood, and I wish I had a ton more of this wood to... Um, use on projects like this because I just love the grain pattern. Here's a nice look at it front and back. I planed that wood down to a little less than three quarters of an inch thick but I think this would look great on someone's front door and maybe add some flowers around it. I'm not good with that kind of decorating stuff um, but I think it would look real good with some flowers around it hanging up in a room or like I said on a door. It don't specifically have to go on the front door. The welcome signs can be put anywhere, in my opinion. But I think it turned out real good. Another awesome design by Steve Good. I did cut it a little differently than the pattern um, was printed out. And I think that's up to each artisan how they want to cut a project out. But I think it turned out real good. Um, again, anytime you're scrolling or using pallet wood or anything like that, I always use a dust respirator. I apologize about my voice, guys. I've been a little under the weather here. I caught a head cold about a week ago, and I'm just now getting over it. I've still got a little bit of congestion, but really trying to knock that out. But that's about all for this video. Remember, guys, if I can make it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.